The Stavage Bull Terry is an absolutely incredible breed known for their courageous nature, intelligence and love for companionship with their family. In today's video I'll be sharing more about this tough looking breed and whether or not they can actually suffer with separation anxiety. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier, and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Staffies. So if you're a lifelong Staffy lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Staffy pup, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Staffordshire Bull Terrier video. So let's jump right into today's video, where I'll be telling you all about this impressive breed and whether or not they can suffer from separation anxiety. There are many things to consider before bringing a puppy into your home, especially if this is your first ever experience of having your own dog. Separation anxiety in dogs nowadays seems to be a very common problem. For some dogs, the slightest change of routine can be upsetting for them and cause more anxiety. It is thought that all dogs have separation anxiety to some degree and this does not exclude the Staffy. Staffordshire Bull Terriers have not always had the best reputation as a breed due to originally being bred to fight other dogs, but what people do not always realise is that the Staffy is actually not a dangerous breed at all. They are bold and courageous dogs, but they are reliable, loving and loyal dogs that long for companionship with their owners. Although they need quite a bit of care and attention, they are an incredibly good choice for a dog owner that is after a dog that is loyal and affectionate. When these dogs are well-bred, well-trained and well-socialised from a young age, they are a real pleasure to have around due to their good-natured and people-orientated personalities. Staffies love your attention and long to show you how much you mean to them through their loving and devoted nature. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an incredibly people-orientated dog breed and does not tolerate being left on their own and can suffer greatly from separation anxiety. Their sensitivity and strong devotion to their beloved human companions can cause this, so if you're looking for a dog that can be left alone then the Staffy is not going to be the breed for you. You can train your dog to be left alone for very short periods of time as long as you start training this from a young age. It's their loyal and devoted personalities that cause a Staffordshire Bull Terrier to have issues with anxiety. Although there is not actually one single cause of separation anxiety, there are different factors that are common in dogs who suffer with the issue. Some include a change of schedule which may be sudden and means your dog is left alone for longer than usual or an attachment issue which may be caused by a loss of family or one person. A significant change in a pup's life can cause the development of separation anxiety which is incredibly important to be aware of especially with the sensitive breed that the Staffy is. Through the use of a time consuming activity like a Kong toy stuffed with some peanut butter or meat substance you can help your dog's separation anxiety. It provides them with something to do whilst you're out and in turn takes their mind off the fact that they're on their own. It also means that they begin to associate this period of time without you with getting even a treat. So instead of fear and stress taking over them, it is a time of excitement and happiness as they will have a treat. It will bring your staffy a sense of security when you're not in the home with them. Removing the treat when you get home helps with the association. You can also use a crate to help your pup separation anxiety. They can view it as a secondary home which offers them a sense of safety and security when you're not around. However, you must observe their behaviour in the crate when you are home and do crate training since they could become more anxious if not properly trained to understand that it is a place of safety, not fear. There are lots of different ways to deal with separation anxiety and it's important to get advice from a professional. By giving your pup lots of socialisation in new environments, surroundings, with unfamiliar people and animals, it will be beneficial to them in growing into a confident and well-rounded adult dog that is adaptable to different situations. It's really important that when you're looking into getting a dog that you do lots of research on them and look into whether or not they are able to be on their own for different lengths of time. Depending on your daily routine, how much you'll be at work or how much you'll be at home will make a difference to your choice of dog that you bring into your home. Be sure to watch more of our videos and read lots about the breed in order to find the best match for you and your family. I hope you enjoyed today's video, if so make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Staffy videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.